Welcome to the Brick Bender Brick Pasta Show. Um, how are you doing today, Brick Pasta? Pretty good. We, we had an early morning. Somebody couldn't sleep. so Gotta love those. Yeah. Wasn't too bad, though. But We'll see oh, how she is uh, in preschool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's always the fun thing. Uh, it's my oldest first day back to kindergarten. We'll see how his day is. Usually he has pretty challenging days. But today I'm going to work on this set, uh, 60159. Brickhead family's in the chat. Good morning, Brickhead family. Good morning, Brickhead family. Uh, and we are going to, to part out some of it to finish up my mock for Alabama um, Brick Fair. What are you working on today? I'm going to finish the snow speeder. I have one bag left, bag 13. All right. And if we have time, maybe I'll put this together. Haha, <laughs> that's a good good set. Oh, before before we get started today, I did. We're a little late starting because I went and I picked some stuff up. I've got this poly bag so we can build it together. Yep. We can do that. I got uh, the movie space with all the older style space guys. Picked up an Overwatch set. Not big into Overwatch itself, but uh, the little spaceship looked cool. And the, the spaceship is awesome. Uh, grabbed another Lego movie set. Um, really wanted that one for Batman. Uh, I think Batman looks pretty cool. Uh, different. I think that metal beard is a lot cooler than the one that comes in the poly bag. Uh, yeah, I'll probably um, combine him with my metal beard, metal beard Mac. Have you seen him? Yeah, I've seen it, but I haven't had the pleasure of building it yet. So, and then I got two of these on discount at my Target for the sand green and the mini figures. Awesome. I mean, even the mini figures alone, if if you part them out at two dollars a piece, or or that's or even a dollar a piece. That's half the value of the set. So. Really good part out value. So we got Hannah Harris in the chat and Dark Knight Teenager. Good morning. Morning, Hannah. Morning, Dark Knight. Glad you could join us on this early Monday morning. Want to get started? Yeah, sure. Let's get started. Now, I do not plan on building this whole set. Um, I actually am taking the scenery part of the set out. I will build the truck and the Jeep or the half track, whatever it is, or uh, half track and the um, buggy. So good. And that's that the first two, first two sets. So the third set we will not build today. Um, so how's everybody in the chat doing? How did everybody's weekend go? My weekend was crazy. I had to work all. Uh, I had to work yesterday, but um, Saturday I took the kids to uh, Monster Jam up here. Ah, uh, had a had a good time. Black yeah. Panther. Black Panther. Yeah. Did you do any streaming over the weekend? Um, no, I did not. Just for the simple fact that I worked Saturday night, and then last night was kind of a family night. And I understand that. We had a pretty good weekend, I think. Everybody's starting to get a cold, though. So. Oh, that's not good. No. I went through my house Christmas week. Oh, well, that's not a good time to have it at all. So the minifigure, the first minifigure, she has two faces. One there. One there. We're going to put the uh, worried, oh my goodness, <laughs> face out. 
She is stressed out. Stressed to the max. And Ooh, little campfire. Maybe that's why she's stressed out. The fire's gonna go out of control. There you go. <laughs> These guys are my great park rangers in my park. Old tan. <laughs> they look park rangers. So can't wait for Brick Fair. That's two weeks away. One week away. Two weekends. So not this weekend, but the following weekend. But we're just adding panels on this thing. <laughs> We did get to make the canopy. The canopy, yeah. yeah. Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah. We got the Let's canopy. Cockpit. Oh, nice. We got a. It's brick nice big windows. Yeah. What are those? Eight, eight across. Ten across. Yes, they are eight across. Eight across. And six across on the top. Yep. Nice. And these are ten. These cool. are the side windows. If you ever parted that out, you definitely can make some big vehicles with that. Yes. Well, they had it on sale here not too long ago. Yeah, did you pick up any more? I thought about it. I I definitely thought about it. Couldn't pull the trigger on it, huh? No, I just, I was like, I need to build it and see what parts are in there. And now that I see that what parts are in there, I wish I would have built it sooner because I would have picked it up. A lot up. more of them? Yes. No, that's always the case, isn't it? Yeah. So I got to ask you, when you go, before you go to a big event like that, is it pretty stressful as far as getting your mocks together? And Well, that mock was already, it was done. It's, at least I thought it was done. And then I realized that there was something that needed to be done to it. And so I've had to redress the entire mock to um, get it corrected. So that was a little bit stressful for me. I'm like, ah, I'm not going to get it done in time, especially really um, other than today, my last, my next day off is heading up to the event. So I was a little stressed, but I've got it almost done. Um, I got one more section to do, you know, because I've, I've broken it down. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, six, um, 32 by 32 base plates. And then it's got a 20 um, stud section of waterfall. The thing is huge. So... Um, I got the, the waterfall part is the only thing I didn't really have to touch. <clears throat> so, yeah, I was, I was stressing there for a little bit. They say, wanted, go ahead. No, I was going to say how they usually say however long, wherever your uh, due date is. That's usually exactly how long it's going to take you to do it because somehow life manages to just put it in that position. Yeah. I, I was actually hoping to get a couple more um, mechs done because I'm, I'm doing two, two things. The park is one of them and, and the mechs that I created are another one, another part, you know, the collection of mechs. So they'll just be sitting on the table, but, um, I was hoping to get one more mech in. Okay. But that's probably not going to happen now. Which, you know, that's fine. I'll have it ready for Philly. So, because I should not have to touch anything with the park. That doesn't mean I won't. It means I shouldn't have to. Of course, I'll probably do it, and somebody will be like, "Oh, you know, what did you think about? What do you think about doing this?" And I'll be like, 
I need to do that now. <laughs> but at least I got a month and a half between shows, so. They're never finished. Yeah, such is the life of an A fall. Yeah, they're never finished. So, I meant to do this. And then I found out that a package I sent out has not been received yet, so that bothers me. Ooh. Uh, sent it out on the 31st. So, I'm hoping this person gets it like today because. They were out of town, and that might be the reason. You know, if they had their mail held up. Do they have to sign for it? Um, They might have. I, I need to go back and look. We're starting to build the, the fins that go on the back of this snow speeder. Cool. I build with bricks is in the chat. How are you doing, buddy? Hey, I, I build with bricks. I watch he, your live streams every now and then. He actually is in my area. Really? So we, yeah, we run, in, we run into each other a couple of times. Yeah, I, uh, I pop in on his live streams every now and then and just kind of sit back and watch. Mm -hmm. Kind of fun. Good guy. Oh, yeah. Anna Harris wants to know what section you'll be at at uh, Brick Fair, Alabama. I... I'm not 100% sure. I will be doing a couple of the, I'll be running bingo for a little, or a, a runner at bingo for a little bit. And then um, during the actual games, uh, I, also, I plan on somewhere in the city section would be my guess um, as to where they'll put me. But, as soon as I know, I'll post it on Instagram. So, and I plan on trying to do at least a live stream or two. Um, or maybe just do video and, and upload it if I, if I have to do it that way. Uh, at Brick Fair. To kind of let you guys see some of the action. Putting out the, the feeler there on the... Instagram real quick for people to come join us. Oh, yeah. I forgot to do that. All right. So this, this is what I ended up having us build. This block section right here. Wow. It's a lot of plates. Yeah. And they got some snot work going on here. And they're just going to have us Oh, put it in there. That's the fin um the yeah. The jet drive. Or what were they calling it last night? <laughs> I don't I don't know what they were calling it last night, but that was, that was kind of a <laughs> thruster, no, not thrusters, something knobs. Jet nozzles. Nozzles, yes. Jet nozzles. <laughs> Those are for the jet nozzles. Butt chop got pretty upset about that. Um uh, all right. All right, back to what I'm doing. So we have the It's a neat little build for a like a pet truck or a, a mini truck or a whatever you want to call this thing. Uh, ATV of sorts. I bought this set because I got it on on sale. Uh, uh. Yeah. So 
So we'll see how we can get this together. It looks like I am missing two of the hubcap or two of the yeah two of the wheels to put on the tires. Kind of stressing here. I'm thinking I missed a roll of plates in there. Uh oh. But I didn't have any leftover pieces, so I don't know where that would have been. <laughs> That's all right. I'll find it. It'll be fine. Oh, no, it's in there. It's all there. It's in there. Yep. All right, there's a problem with our truck. It is missing some wheels. So, problem solved. What was that? They were still in my bag. Oh. That's why we never throw our bags away in the middle of a build. I build with bricks. Are you planning on going to uh, Brick Fair, Alabama, if you're still there? All right. I think I'm done struggling with that. I'm going to build the other side of it. <laughs> and I'll put it on later if I have to. The struggle is really real. Yes, always. It'll be okay. You know when you have two of the same parts, there's something wrong. Oh, yeah. You, do you have that going on? I did, but I, I figured it out pretty quick. <laughs> That's the problem. I build. Um, I build without the instructions for the most part, or just kind of glancing at them. I'm like, oh, okay, this is how this goes. This is how this goes. Yep. And I think that's where I get in trouble too, or or I skip ahead like one step. One full step. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I see how this is going. Let me go ahead and put this together. Wait, I have a missing piece. What's going on there? All right. So the first one's done. On to the half track. You know, I built a Stormbringer last night. Have you seen that one? No, I have not. Were you... Was that last night when... In uh, Haley's... Was it Haley's or Butt Chops? Yeah, it was whoever, whoever was doing that uh, private stream last night where they were just on their chat or whatever. Yeah. So I picked up Stormbringer for like 25 bucks, 21 bucks, something ridiculous. I think it's normally like 36 Okay. And I just picked it up on chance because I like the minifigures that were in there and I was like, well, you know, it's a dragon. Dragons are cool. Nothing wrong with that, right? So I just built it last night. It is pretty, pretty cool. Um, it was a nice build. And the tiles for the eyes are actually printed. So it's a one by four printed tile. Um for both on both sides for the eyes really yes there are zero stickers in that entire set that's that's a plus yeah all right i forgot about the time frame and though it's a close it's trip not possible this year ah i'm sorry to hear that uh, 
but I understand, and I will do my best as a YouTuber in the LEGO community to bring the action to you guys here on this channel. That's the fun part. Wow. That's the fun part, bringing the action to... Bringing the action to the people. Yeah. Because those trips, they're not they're not inexpensive, and even if you're going up for for the day or two days for um, for the public days, it's still not inexpensive. I mean, I live close, and I'm staying up there. I'm staying in Birmingham for the four days, and I could drive back and forth, but I know better. By Sunday, I'd be like, I'm done. I get there when I get there. And I don't want to do that. No. Better if you're going with somebody else and then they can kind of take over the driving a little bit too, but Yeah, I mean You're right. However, that's not going to really happen here. Right. Now, Philly will be fun because there's a group of us all going up there. So um, once we get up there, it'll be party central. So I'm looking forward to Philly. I'm looking forward to Brick Fair um, as my first event. And my first event showing, so. Ah. So this is exci pretty exciting for you. Yeah, I've never been to one, and I've never been to uh, to one of these things, and I, I haven't shown at anything, so. I mean, I like showing off my work, but. So I do it through my YouTube channel, but never actually in a convention format. Never publicly. No, nah, never publicly, so. That part, I guess, is a little nerve-wracking as you think about it. You're like, but what if people don't like it? Or, you know, you start looking at everybody else's stuff, and then it's like, well, that's a, just it's just okay. And that's what that's probably my fear, because I know what I'll do. I'll go, okay, now how do I fix it between now and Philly? There's a long time till Philly yet. Couple months, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but it goes so quick. It seems like a long time right now, but so did January. Okay. And then, so like, the, nope, keep, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. You you putting that on? Yep. I I messed up the order. Uh, these are supposed to go in. They were supposed to go this way. Because I when I was looking at it, trying to put it on there, I was like, it is a plate. Thickness too low for the, the the hole it's supposed to go in. Well, now that I moved it over, there's another Technic one that's a plate higher. So yeah, see, it's a lot. Oh yeah, looks a lot. Looks much better. Butt chops in the chat. Good morning, butt chop. And now I'll show you what I'm working on. Oh wait, no, let me fix this. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Is that something from last night? Yeah, that's uh, from last night. <laughs> I'm not even going to acknowledge it. Not happening. Uh. So, yeah. Um, I was like, oh, I got the month in December. I have three days off here, two days off here. I can get some stuff. You know, I can work on this. I can work on that. Wife gets sick. Kids get sick. That ends everything. Yep. So, it's very easy to go from I'm ahead of, or I'm in, I'm where I need to be to, oh, crap. Yep, now I'm behind. But <laughs> so I don't know. Somehow, somehow things always turn out. Yes. 
So I'm going up to uh, Philly, and I think, well, it's a day early, but it's not really a day early. It's it's going to take me all day to get there. So, And I'm not in a rush to come back either. I was like, I'm going to take one more day at the hotel. Yeah. Because I'm not driving back after – Five, six, whatever, whatever time you get done. And hey, collecting bricks, how are you? Um, whatever time it gets done, and, and then trying to drive back. That just, that's crazy. I really don't like driving when I'm tired. Right, me either, especially if I'm driving by myself. Yeah. I'm like, mm -mm. Well, you get to the point to where it's like, where you're, where you're, so tired that you like close one eye and then before you know it, the next one's following. Yeah. Uh, so then it's like, well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get out and walk around a little bit to kind of wake myself up and then I'll get back on my way. Cause that, that helps. I used to be a diesel truck mechanic uh -huh. back in my early twenties. And I did that. What was that like last week? <laughs> Oh, it seems like it, but, uh, that's, that's what they told me to do that. If I got tired while driving is to get out and just walk around a little bit. Cause that's usually what they do is they'll, they'll pull alongside the road and mm -hmm. they'll, they'll do their checks, check their tires and lights and stuff like that. Just walk around the truck. And then after that, they're ready to go again. Yeah. I've tried it once and it does help. Yeah, for a little bit. I've rolled down the windows. I've done all kinds of stuff just to, yep. to make it somewhere. And I'm to the point now where it's like, you know what? It's not worth it. No. Nope. If I get there late, it will be okay. Everyone will understand. If I don't get there, well, that's a different story. So. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Pop the backstory, huh? A little bit. All right. So we're going to put this on here. So here's where we're at with the half track. Awesome. <laughs> good. Brick Fender Underworld Pasta is 10 years older than you. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm pretty sure we're about close. No, early 40s. Yeah. Yeah, I put it out there. That's a kind of cool little gun build. <laughs> uh, let's see what you got going on oh yeah that looks that looks pretty sharp yeah focused in decent okay take me out present I did I already did <laughs> I was thinking about uh, uh, presenting you while I show off this truck just Oh, just to see if what's happened. Just, Sorry, man. just to watch him lose his mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why he showed up, just to make sure that we're doing it right. We are all young at heart. Yes, that is true. That is true. That's why we play with Legos. I mean, well, that's why we build with Legos. Yep. Work with them. Yes. It's, an, it's a, uh, a medium. There you go. Sometimes we do paint by numbers, but sometimes sometimes we build our own happy trees. <laughs> uh, he's taunting me. Oh. <clears throat> I, uh, 
I hope he is coming to Philly because he will be a hoot to hang out with. Oh, I yeah. can just tell. It's gonna be it would be action packed for sure. Oh yeah. All right. Um. <laughs> no, I came in hopes that Pasta would be on present while <laughs> BBQ did his presentation. Uh, and a happy mock here and a happy, yes. <laughs> yes. Happy little mocks everywhere. I'm also looking forward to going to the uh, Lego store in, in Birmingham while I'm up there. Yeah, because you said it was a rare occasion that you guys go on go to the Lego store, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So. That'll be exciting. That'll uh, be exciting. Hmm. Yes. I look forward to it this summer when we go to Minneapolis, we always go. Last year, we stopped in and had a lot of fun. Yeah. It's like one of those must-dos. Yes. Of course, when we go to Philly, I'm going to check out, uh, I want to check out the uh, War Minister Brick Shop. What's, yeah, I think that's what it is. Um, that'll be, it's kind of like, uh, from what I'm gathering, it's very similar to a bricks and minifigures type, type store. Um, um, I want to say it's run by bricks on the dollar. Oh, so I was concentrating really hard getting the sticker placement right on this <sighs> one screen. Yeah. I don't blame you. I think that looks all right. So, I mean, that's one of those sets you put the stickers on. Oh, yeah. Well, it's display. Right. Unless you partner it out. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of a sore subject. I kind of wish I would have gotten one now. Yeah. Don't feel bad. I don't have one at all. <laughs> Well, they, when they went on sale, they were only, you know, for a $200 set, it was only knocked off by 20 bucks, I think. And that was the lowest that I've seen. But, you know, 20 mm -hmm. bucks is still 20 bucks. Yeah. I didn't know if Collecting Bricks picked one up or not. I think she's the one that told me about the sale that was going on on Amazon. I don't know. Let's ask her. Did you pick one up? Collecting? Collecting Bricks. I bet she did. I don't think she can pass up a Star Wars set. No. Uh, while I was out today, I did see the... Uh, the Micro Fighters series sets. Oh, yes. Yeah. So those are always fun. And they've got the Dubacks with the... Um, I, I, that's the one set that I might have to pick up. The Dubac. Uh, and I think it's C-3PO and R2-D2 in the crashed escape pod. Okay, yeah. I think that's what, like the second or third one that they put out like that? The crashed pod. Yeah, I don't really care much for that, but I want the other part. So oh. I picked up Slave One for like one thirty instead. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good deal. Let's see. Ah, 
yeah. Oh, I thought I thought you were talking. You picked up the slave one. She no, picked, no, no, no. She, I'm sorry. Collecting bricks. Picked she up the slave up. one. That's that's a really good deal. Let's see how they, this is the part I'm interested in, how they do the half track. Oh, you got to clip all those together. That's very therapeutic. <laughs> you say that with such confidence. No, it's, it is. It's got to go. Good. Kevin Hinkle just went live. Enjoy. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye-bye, chop. <laughs> What's that guy trying to do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's not enough uh, brick pasta reacts in this one. I, I guess not. <laughs> uh, brick pasta, brick bender triggered. This is the brick built canopy oh nice that turned out good turned out turned out a lot better than i thought it was gonna yeah that turned out good so this is it right here got it completed yeah, I'll go ahead and I'm gonna present you for a second so everybody can see. There we go. I like the detail on those uh, the guns, the that whole section right there on the on each side. Yeah, there's a lot of great detail in there. That looks that looks pretty sharp. And then when you turn the the nozzle, <laughs> the nozzle, yeah, the flaps, the brake flaps open and shut. Yeah, yeah that's that's spot on right there. And then they've got the underside pretty awesome these flaps oh, yeah. yeah good job with those too oh some of it's not real robust but it looks the part yeah i mean i'm not gonna be playing with it so i'll put it that way is that right <laughs> This is not a playable uh, playable build. There are no there are lots of play features, but no playing. <laughs> uh, let's see. But Chop would never leave us. He likes the canopy that you can see through. <laughs> nozzle. Yeah, it is a great set. I agree. It looks really good. And we almost have this track built. I guess the next part is going to be actually be putting the track together. I like how they do those wheels so that you've got something else that's actually touching. Oh, yes. They did that on uh, both of those tanks that Butt Chop and I built together. With the wheels underneath? Yeah. Yeah, I like how the UCS vehicles look too, Butt Chop. I think, well, of course you can't get real detailed with Lego, but I think they are a pretty detailed build. If I wanted to get any more detailed, I'd just buy a model. How about that? Yeah, right? They've come a long way, though, from when we were playing with them as kids. Oh, yeah. And the parts... I mean, like the parts that I, I was using yesterday to build Stormbringer, I was like, oh, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, B-Fab's in the chat. Hey, B-Fab, how are you? Good morning, B-Fab. His channel's doing really well. Glad to see that. Good. This is the hard part. How many of these do you have to build? 
<laughs> we put together um, the juniors or one of the juniors maybe two sets this morning before Estella went to school. Mm -hmm. Is the smaller spaceship. Oh, yes. Spaceship, spaceship, spaceship. She did most of it by herself, but I had, nice. to, help I had to help her with a little bit of it. She loved these flame pieces. She was like, those are so cool. Oh, yeah, in the back. Yeah. And there wasn't a single, you know, of course, there wasn't a single sticker in the in the set. And that's always a plus. Always a plus. But I looked at that set. I um, I passed it up. Um, I don't think there's any new minifigures in it. No. So I kind of looked at it and I was like, eh, it's a cool set. Is, it, is that the one with the, you know, it's the other one that's got the three tires in it and they're stacked on top of each other. Yeah, that would be uh, Emmett's tricycle. Yeah, I I looked at that one too. Because um, I was going to, uh, the gas pump build that they've got in there is, is kind of cool. Yeah. So. This came with like a small service station too. It had like a toolbox and um, like a fire extinguisher, almost looked like a fire extinguisher, but I think it was like like a fuel drum. Oh yeah. Yeah. Just a couple small builds. This toolbox here. And then it came with little, like fuel up renting the station. Pretty cool. It was fun. Fun seeing her how how she did it. Yeah, it's always fun to watch the kids build stuff. The yeah, when they first start off. Yeah, the print on the mini build is pretty cool. Yeah. But yeah, she was obsessed by those flames. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh, yeah, work work is going uh, crazy. What? Are you are you presenting me? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> well you were showing off stuff and I was I was just putting track together, so Oh okay. <laughs> You're doing this on purpose. <laughs> you were showing off stuff, and I was. Yeah, yeah. got to do that. Mm -hmm. We we had a pretty good haul yesterday. We got some uh, sand speeders, a couple of other things. Cool. Got this for the parts. Yeah, I saw it. Um... And it was it was less than regular retail, and I thought about it, and I just couldn't pull the trigger on it. Well, this was damaged. My my wife, I think, got it for forty. Bucks. It's got a hole in it, but there's no way anything came out. As a viewer request, can you just present pasta? Sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm just done about done with this half track part, and so then I'll show you what it looks like. Um, but you'll have to look at it in the very small little window. Oh, <laughs> and we. Oh uh, yeah, that set. I, I I like that set. I really like the uh, the jellyfish head and the shark head. Yeah, the I like that sand blue. So uh yeah. As soon as I seen this, I wish they would have had the manta ray bomber, but. Yeah, I got those at. Um, where did I get pick those up at? I picked them up at full retail, but at. Um, 
You got a couple of these too. Yeah, that's a good set. I picked it up at um, what's it called? I can't remember now. Ooh, I just realized that I made a mistake. Um, the Lego Lego Land. That's where oh, I picked okay. up that Lego Land when they first came out. The collecting box. brick says collecting brick says that you presented her for the first twenty minutes that she streamed with you. Did I? <laughs> sure, I can. I can do that. <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> And I also got a package from Butt Chop, which I'm holding off until this Saturday morning. Ooh, Saturday morning stream. What time is that stream? 7.30 Central. 7.30 Central, so that's 8.30 Eastern. And it's really early for all those folks who don't live in Central or Eastern time. Yeah, Collecting Bricks, I think, wakes up at like 6.30 or 5.30 to watch it. But that wants me to open it. You want to open it here? You want to open it on his stream? I'll open it now. I'll open it now. Is there a love letter in here? Probably. Probably from Guido. <laughs> we got a Unikitty. Looks like I just barely nicked it. Or else maybe, maybe he checked it out. We got some poly bags. Look at that. Oh, nice. He did send a love letter. <laughs> There's some minifigures. More Unikitty stuff. Uh, Unikitty, I'm not, your daughter's probably really big into Unikitty. Oh, she loves them. She did one last night. Um, all right. All right, now I'm going to take you off present. Oh. Go ahead and read the letter. He wants you to read the letter. He says, just a couple of things I wanted to send. The three Unikitties are for Estella. Tell her thanks for being a fan. Two solo poly bags. I did not send you the Ninjago poly bag because I know you hate those, po those poor ninjas. Also, I thought I would start your Series 14 off with the first Monster CMF I have gotten. More to come. Love, butt chop. Here's your brick. Thank you. Thank you very much. Chat. Awesome. All right. So let's look at this real quick. Take you off present. You gonna open that? All right. I'll put you back on present. No, no, no. you go. Go ahead. I'll no, 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 no. Go ahead. See who it is. What monster polybag you got me? Yes. Zombie businessman. Is that what his name is? I haven't I I don't know. I'll have to check it out. Hoosiers here for the poly bags. <laughs> awesome. Is that what his name? What's his name? Oh, nice. Zombie. Yeah, it's it's like the zombie. zombie. Yeah, and that's on awesome. The news, on the newspaper, it says brain. brains. Brains, nice. And <laughs> Brick Bender is such a good host. <laughs> well, thank you, Collecting Bricks. Um, all right. So here we go. 
two trucks, the little or ATV or whatever you want to call this thing, and your half track. So the half track is awesome. So those gears is what runs between the. Yeah, the gears run in there, and then on underneath there is the wheels that assist it. Assist it. So nice wheel drive there. Your Panther, and then the rest of this is going to end up in the park. So okay, if you want to see it, you got two opportunities: Brick Fair, Alabama, or if you want to see it live, Brick Fair, Alabama, or um, Philly Brickfest. And I'll probably do a update sometime between the two. The so Butchop says he, he gave me this one to start off, so I need to get more of them. I have some of them. I don't have all of them. Um, I have the Big Bad Wolf, who I picked up for the story. I appreciate right, it. Are we ready to do a poly bag race? Awesome. Well, I don't know about that. In the bag? Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't know if I'll race or not. <laughs> oh, you probably beat me. Ready? Okay. Yeah, we can do it. Go. I do like Wild Side. I think this is the best version of her to date. Yep, I think that uh, that was one of the main reasons why we got her in this one. And she comes in so many of the sets with this type. The stop sign, though, that she comes with the kitty is like sets it off. When you're racing, you gotta just relax. Stay calm. <laughs> I've, got it. I've got experience with racing. Take, take my word for it. All right, let's see. <laughs> what? Wild <laughs> side, yes, poly bag race. We're getting there. This doesn't look too stable. The, the little brick? Yeah, the, putting, no. the, putting the radius ones on there. But it went together well. You didn't know when he streamed with me today, you're going to be racing. racing. No, I didn't know it. I didn't either. <laughs> it just <laughs> happened. All those things. You on the back side yet? Yes. Probably gonna be one of those things where I get to the end, I'm gonna have parts left over. Uh, yeah, you always have parts <laughs> left over. It's like a <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have two parts left over. Done. Ah. <laughs> Two? That's all you got? Three. I got a pin and two, a one by plate and a one by tile. Yeah, that's right. All right. There we go. If Brick Bender wins, pasta will be presented. For the <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Yeah, that wild style is good. Yeah. She, so there we go. She does have two expressions. Oh, see, now the other one does not. Let me go get her. She's got a pretty angry, pretty angry face. Yes. And then a happy face here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, and then she got a. So there's now nah, here. Put your put your angry face up there. We go angry face, happy face. All right, you got the happy face. There, I got the angry face. Angry face, happy face. There you go. All right, that was fun. <laughs> it was it was good. Well, my eyeball's looking the wrong way, though. <laughs> that double matter, right? No, as long as it's on there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I gotta go do my city or my park. So. Okay, I'm going to uh, clean up. Because I need two down here. I want to thank Butt Chop 2021. Thank you for the poly bags and the Unikitties. I seriously appreciate it. And getting me my first monsters, right? The monsters. Poly bag. Nice. Right? Minifigure, collectible minifigure. Definitely. I need to start looking for those. Because they're all discontinued. They're not out yet, right? They're all discontinued. Uh, yeah, they're all discontinued. You, yeah. The only place you're going to find those is if somebody happens to have, happens to have them or, um, you go to like a bricks and minifig store where you purchase them. eBay, eBay or eBay. Uh, Bricklink. Something like that. Collecting says I was disqualified for the, uh, eyeball. No. <laughs> Well, maybe. <laughs> no. right. But uh, thank you guys for showing up. Uh, we really do this for you guys. Thanks for having uh, me. Man. Thanks for, for coming, Brick Pasta. And we'll do this again on a Friday, probably post, uh, post Alabama Brick Fair. Awesome. All right. Have a good one. Take her easy.